All right, so here they ask us which graph represents a function. Now, a function is like a machine. The idea is that you take a value in your domain, let's say an x value. You plug it into the function, right, f of x. That's our function representation. And it spits out a y value, a specific y value. So each x value spits out exactly one precise y value. Just as a machine, if you give it certain material, it will build something for you. So now the idea is that when you plug in an x value, you know what the y value will be. It's not as if one x value, right, will plug or will spit out two different y values. That would not be a function. And what that means is if we look at these graphs right here, you can, you can use a vertical line test to figure out if you have a function or not. The idea is if you drop a line down and it crosses your graph at more than one point, you know that what you're looking at is not a function. So these three choices right here, I drop these red lines down, that means none of them are functions because in the first case here, if we look at this circle, right, this line crosses the circle at two spots. What does that mean? Well, that means if I plug an x value in, oops, excuse me, if I, if I plug an x value in, I can get this y value, or, or y1 we'll call that, or this y value, y2. Well, the way we define a function is that, that, is that the x value should only give us one y value, not two. So that is not a function. Here, again, with this s shape, if I plug in this x value, I get these two y values. So that's not a function. And here, if I plug in this, this x value, I get all of these y values, right? Because I have a vertical line. I could pick any two of these, right? Or more to see that, yes, this x value maps us onto more than one y value. So the answer here is this graph, right? This is an absolute value graph. And you notice that in this case, here's an x value, right? It's at 1, 2, 3, 4. And then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, they both give us the same y value. Right, let's call this x1 and x2. They both map us onto the same y value, but that's okay. Because in a function, you can have multiple x values, right, all leading to the same y value. But you can't have the reverse. You can't have one x value leading to many different y values. That's how we define a function. And in this case, this graph is the only function here. All right, hope that helped.